because I was having leg cramps. and uh, Really bad ones. Interesting. There are not too many doctors out here. As a matter of fact, I never found one that could really say, well, this is what you need to do to, not to have leg cramps. The diagnostic hospital down there ran the same blood work that all these doctors had been running for the last five years in the hospitals. And uh, on our way home, we had a phone call from the doctor that Glenn had seen down there and alerted us to the possibility that not only did Glenn have a really potentially serious kidney problem, uh, it could almost be an emergency. We discovered that Glenn basically did not have kidneys left. He was literally standing on the edge of the cliff with his toes hanging over when we discovered how serious it was. And it was the blood type is very rare. It's a second rarest blood type. And I said, okay. He said, uh, be positive. And I said, I'm the most positive person you'll ever meet. <laughs> anyway, he, he said, well, that's not exactly what I mean. But he says, your blood type is be positive, and that's, that's the problem. The time was not on our side. Glenn needed a kidney right away. At that point, nothing looked very good. And uh, so we were meeting with Glenn's nephrologist uh, one day, and actually in the hospital. And I said, well, maybe I could be Glenn's donor. And it was, you know, not likely that I would be a match for him. But he said, well, if you love him enough, you should try. I said, okay, I'll do it. Options weren't very good, were they? So we decided that I would start the process, and I went in on a Monday morning about 7 o'clock, and they finished making in this first test about 5 o'clock that evening. And uh, by Thursday, I found out that I was a potentially Glenn's donor. So in our particular case, he only had one person test to be a donor. I was the one, and I got to be his donor. In the meantime,